Yeah, you can also go down, uh, climb down the ladder and just, whoa, buddy, whoa, easy, big fella. Um, hey guys, Chavon Billy here with episode three of Base Building Tips. This episode's going to be a little bit different from the last two, as I'll be focusing more on what to do before you actually build your base. So the first tip, um, before I even think about building a base, if, and keep in mind this is for PEI, uh, I usually head down to either Wiltshire Farm or Fernwood, which is over there. So right off the bat, you got a compound bow, you got a campfire, super handy for food or fishing. What else do we got here? Um, I'm going to put a list on screen as well uh, of most of the the useful stuff that you can find here. Like look at that, there's food here just to get you started. Um, there's you, oh look at that, boom, chainsaw for base building. What else do we got around here? Shotgun shells, would you go away? Like you can get the planters here, but um, I usually just try to craft a fishing rod instead. And uh, there's lots of clothes here too, so you can get bandages and stuff. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Sport shot! Now the second tip is to swim over to Holman Island, which I've already done, to loot the ranger station. And you, you just, there's some really good loot here that you're gonna need to defend yourself. Like, say we only got that bow, which is pretty good, but you'd prefer a gun before you start building a base. Like, what you know, what, why are you even building a base if you have nothing to store in it, you know what I mean? Anyways. Oh, baby. Look at that. Mm -mm. No, we gotta change that. Oh, wait. Uh, I can't use that anyways. Awesome. So yeah, you can get ranger weapons here. I'm pretty sure I already said that. Uh, there's usually half decent stuff. Yeah, ranger muzzle. What else do we got here? Scrap metal. Yeah, you can climb down the ladder here, and uh, there's usually... Oh, of course, there's nothing here this time. But yeah, there's scopes here. Um, you can get a, a fair amount of those bandanas and... Don't know how to pronounce it. Balaclava? Balaclava? I don't really know. Uh, there's a lot of those here for bandages. There's food in here, as you can see. Tomatoes and granola bars. Mmm! And then you can go down one. F oh, fail! Whoa, 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 whoa! Everyone, just calm down. So the third tip, and this one is pretty crucial. Before you start building anything, you should make a crate and store most of your valuables at a site just because I've made this mistake before and it really sucks it really does say you're building you're halfway through a base and you have like what I have right now someone shoots you just out of nowhere so you lose all your loot and then someone just gets a free base to just put a roof and a few walls in and you're just kinda shit out of luck but anyways yeah so I don't know, I'm not really gonna show you the as far as I would normally go, but just say like you could store I don't know, keep the katana in there. Should probably actually go in the storage here. But yeah, you can store your katana. No, that's not what I want. Katana, you know, some ammo for later. Keep the saw until you want to build some more crates. Things like that. Extra attachments. You might want to do a better job of hiding it. Like, you could put it inside the tree. I'm sure most of you guys know how to do that. But yeah, and then you'd want to, you know, 
build away from that and preferably not have it where people would be common like you might want to put it on this side good on me for showing a good example now the fourth tip is when you're cutting down trees when you want to start building your base um, let's just say that I want to build my base right where the helicopter is you don't unless you're really really far away which is basically not possible on PEI um, yeah you don't want to cut down trees right next to where you're building just because just think about it. I don't really have the greatest way to show you right now, but it's it's pretty easy to see a tree fall, like even from you know, if you're over on the barn. You might not be able to see me running around, but you could definitely see that tree fall. So th this island is kind of not the <laughs> not the greatest example once again, but say if you were building your base like over on right there on that side of the hill you might want to cut down trees I don't know over there maybe or or beyond the hill it takes takes a little extra time and like I said if you store your stuff it's it's not as dangerous because if you die you put a bedroll down before then you should be fine Cause yeah, if you don't, you'll be cutting down trees, gather a bunch of logs, and then boom, rip, that happens. So yeah guys, the last tip I've got is, it's kind of more general, but um, just when you're out looting, um, if you go around gas stations, well, you know, most people are obviously looking for gas, uh, but definitely pick up blow torches, and I wonder if they'll be around here. Oh, snipe! Yeah, this worked out perfect for the video. These are two things, oh, double blowtorch, two things I always try and find just because um, they're the hardest part of making a claim flag, which I'm pretty sure I should have looked this up uh, previously, but um, I think it's what's wire, glue, cloth, uh, chemicals, blowtorch? Maybe a bit of scrap metal? I don't know. But anyways. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed some of those tips. And uh, yeah, sorry if this video is a little different. Um, the next one I'm going to be going back more to actual like base building and the design and wall placement, all that stuff. So yeah, um, subscribe, like. If you found anything helpful, leave a comment down below. And I'll hopefully see you next time. Thanks for watching.